Hey guys, my name is Lelit Bessie and in this second PHP video tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Ramp Server and to do anything you can do with Ramp Server. What is Ramp Server? Ramp Server stands for Windows, Apache, MySQL, PHP. Why use Ramp Server? Either you can install PHP and MySQL and Apache separately on your computer and configure them separately or you can use and install Ramp Server and install you on your computer without having any headache. Use of WAMP server allows you to install a server on your PC or Mac. It allows you to test your PHP files. It allows you to self-host your website. Uh, for Windows, we got WAMP server, XAMP server. For Mac, we got MAMP. That stands for Mac, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. WAMP server, in this video, I'm going to show you how to download, install, and configure your WAMP server. For downloading WAMP servers, go to google.com and type free download. WAMP server, enter, click on download WAMP server 2, choose your operating system, operating system consisting of 32 bits and download the WAMP server for 64 bits, I'm using 34, uh, 32 bits, I'm going to click on that, save it, I'm going to save it on desktop, save, close this, Once you finish downloading, click on WAMP server. Click next. I accept the agreement. Next. Choose the destination folder where you want to install the WAMP server. Next. Create the desktop icon. Next. Install. It asks me to uh, use Firefox as a default browser. Yes. And as you can see, there is a desktop icon of WAMP server on my desktop. Click next. Choose your local host name. Just remain as it is. Click next and launch WAMP server. Open your browser and click localhost. Enter. As, as you can see, WAM server is not working on my computer. So, what's the problem? The problem lies in here. The WAMP icon. The WAMP icon has not changed to green. It is orange. It has not changed to green. The green color icon means that WAM server is working perfectly on your computer. And orange, icon, uh, orange color icon means that WAM server is not working properly. Now what's the problem? The problem the problem lies in here. I'm using an application called Skype. Skype is an application which uses port 80 for their connections. A WAMP server is also an application which uses port 80 for their connections. Skype uses port 80. WAMP uses port 80. Skype clashes with WAMP. Skype wins. WAMP loses. And uh, WAMP doesn't work on your computer. So I'm going to fix that problem. But here is a warning to all you guys if your icon has changed to green you don't have to follow the step that I'm going to do right now if your icon has uh, changed to green just go to your browser that I've just gone uh, gone click localhost click enter and you will be directed to the WAMP server page not this not found page you will be directed to WAMP server page if your icon has changed to green for all of you whose uh, icon has changed to uh, whose icon are orange or yellow, follow along with me. I'm gonna fix that problem. Just r click on this. Click on this WAMP server. Go to Apache. H uh, go to HTTP D config file. And as you can see, this is the config file, right here. Scroll down a little bit, and as you can see, there is a uh, listen 12.34.56.78 uh, colon 80 you have to edit this to 80 80 not just 80 edit this with 80 80 same here 80 80 just edit this with 80 80 and listen 80 80 just control save this file you don't have to do nothing else just save this file close this file and uh, restart oral services As you can see, WAMP server 
icon has changed to green. Now when I go to my browser, type HTTPD localhost, then a colon, and type 8080, and then hit enter, I will be redirected to my WAMP server page. That shows that my WAMP server is working perfectly on my computer. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, once again, I have I I'm warning you guys if you know your uh, icon is changed to green uh, before this step, you don't have to follow this step that I have just done yet. You don't you can use just uh, the name localhost and that's it. You don't have to edit the file. But if your file uh, has the icon orange rather than using rather than green icon, then you uh, then you can you know edit that httpd config file and done what i've done here so that's it for this video if you like the video don't forget to subscribe your subscription means a lot to me and uh, check out my other tutorials on my youtube channel and uh, thanks for watching this video